<laughs> Ian asks, Ian asks, do YouTubers, uh, this is from um, DJP at Movies Ideas, do YouTubers do a little too much complaining about YouTube? Is there a difference between wanting a system fixed and griping as though their lives had no choice but to become ensnared in the grasp of a dot-com site that allowed people to make money and post free vids? Well, that's kind of a loaded question here. Jesus H. We kind of know your opinion. Okay. YouTube is now not just a website. It's an ecosystem. It's a a way of life for people. It's It's becoming larger than cable TV in terms of like market share. And it's a it's a commerce website. It's 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 become like its own ecosystem. So it's very important to people that depend upon it now. Uh, absolutely. And YouTube uh, is not perfect. There's there's problems with the uh, people being unsubscribed to channels, not getting notifications, or not knowing how to get all the things in their feed. Uh, they don't know when uh, videos from certain channels will drop out of their subscription feed, things of that nature. YouTube hasn't been entirely transparent about certain changes or there's been unpopular changes. Like they, when they try to marry f- the disaster of a few years ago, three, four years ago, when they try to uh, marry Google Plus in with YouTube. And Google, that was really horrific where you needed a Google Plus account to do it and it was all connected. And that felt... That Google Plus, I don't know anyone who actually uses Google Plus. Like that was just a one of the worst failed experiments ever. So Google slash Alphabet, YouTube, they've been far from perfect. Absolutely. Uh, uh, now they're 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 crossing over into, uh, you know, they, they made mistakes in terms of partnerships, making it too hard to partner, making it too easy. Then they're removing the partnerships. So there there are problems with YouTube. To your point though, do YouTubers publicly? I will say, complain a little too much about it. Yeah, I think they do. And not that there, something can't come out of complaint about something that happens when like a a video gets a, a copyright complaint where it's bullshit and you go and you go to the proper methods of getting it resolved. Complaining about that publicly, that that's fine. And that's happened where people have been struck down where they shouldn't have and it's been overridden. But for the general wide YouTube complaining, I think it's... Um, it's not not necessarily a waste of time, but you know, it's just a waste of energy to me to complain about something like that, where you're you're on this platform that without it existing, you'd be shit out of luck in terms of having that opportunity to begin with. Not that you should be a hundred percent grateful for the opportunity to make yourself money and this large company, but I think you get that per- perspective sometimes when it comes to some of these issues. And it's not to say there aren't valid complaints, but I think it's the volume of complaining that I sometimes see that bothers me. Where it's okay, we know YouTube's not perfect. We know it can be made better. We know the algorithm changes can screw with you at, at, at some point. But you know, but sometimes it, it just is what it is. You got to deal with it. You got to you got to just. Uh, make your own way, adapt to it, do something else, try something different because it's not going to necessarily get better if it's the same thing year after year. At some point, stop bitching about it and just try to do better or do something else if, if it's affecting you that much. And that's my opinion on it. And that goes out to not just people I don't know, but people that I love and that I respect that you might you know complain about it too much for my likings. But it is what it is and we can agree disagree on the amount of it. But I do think that your energy is wasted after a point. Ian, I mean, I, I don't have a YouTube channel, so I mean, I, I, my my my, with the questions about, you know, my my feeling is at, at a certain point. Hey, look, I complain about things online, I, but my my feeling is at a certain point, complaining about it all the time online just looks. It's like crying wolf almost. Yeah, it's to the point where you complain about something online all the time, and people become dead to it. Um, where they, they become numb to it and it's just part of it and every shitty thing that YouTube does, none of it matters anymore because it's par for the course. Sure. Because everything I, they do is complaint worthy when they really fuck everything up. It's But it's not just complaints about YouTube itself. I've seen complaints about why aren't people watching my videos anymore. And it's like, well, that's well, not necessarily that's YouTube's the, fault right. all the time. And, and that, that's the other thing. I, I feel that... And that's so, what bothers me the most. I think that's that's my big issue is... YouTube fucks up plenty. However, conflating YouTube fucking up with a decrease in views, when when that gets complained about too much, it comes across as whiny. 
Yeah, be- because audience tastes change. People get older. People stop watching YouTube. Old, younger people now are watching different things. Yes, YouTube does prioritize certain types of videos based upon watch time and and things of that nature. But it's 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 like anything else. If you do a TV show, after seven years, people might get sick of it. Or after ten years, I mean, the majority of TV shows don't last two years, three right. years. So people's people change and. I try not to think about, I mean, I, I have a Pat the Aeneas Punk series that's had its highs, it's had its lows, and I can't dwell on the fact that certain episodes have done poorly. The 5th anniversary video, excuse me, the 10th anniversary video has not done as well as I'd hoped. But maybe there's no audience for it anymore. Maybe they're, they don't know it exists. Maybe they've disappeared and younger people don't like it. So I can't dwell on that. I just have to accept that's what it is. You try it, it doesn't work. You move on, you come back to it at some point, but you can't stake your whole time on on wishing or wondering why more people aren't watching it. You Some have of the best adapt. TV shows in the world had 12 to 14 episodes. Uh, you know what? I'm the firefly of YouTube. That's the way I'm going to market The faulty that. towers. I'm the faulty towers of YouTube. There you go. Uh, that's what, that's the way you do it. And, and, and it is what it is. You know, but when, yeah, entertainment is, is the most fickle sort of thing you have out there. So you might be doing something in 2008 that worked for you, 2010, 11, 12, and you know, people get fucking sick of it. Right. And yes, YouTube's fucking up, but it's that's not necessarily why. Yeah. It's, it's part of the Venn diagram, but you know, it's you know, it's not all of it. So there you have it there. 